What's going on guys? So in the last video, we came out here to Prim and we spoke to an individual in here in the Vicky and Vance Hotel, which is actually the proprietary or uh, proprietor, uh, I'm assuming, to the Express Mojave. Uh, essentially the guy who gave us the job or one of the guys that potentially gave us a job as a courier to, you know, that essentially got us into this whole mess that we're in with Benny, or we don't even know his name yet, but with the individual who shot us, we'll just call it that. But once we got here, we realized and found out that it's actually infested by a bunch of uh, prisoners, basically, and they took over the town, so they also killed the sheriff and everything, so now we have to go into the Lucky Casino and hopefully find the deputy to the now dead and deceased sheriff, uh, which his name is Deputy Beagle, or, yeah, Deputy Beagle. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and run in there. Alright, let's go ahead, go into sneak already, we'll definitely grab our rifle, have it handy for us, because I'm getting a feeling there's gonna be quite a few people in here, uh-oh. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Oh no. No! Oh god. This is, uh, not going great. Come on, baby. Where'd he go? Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, search this dude really fast. We'll take that to fix our weapon. We might as well reload now that we have the chance but that um entrance was pretty freaking terrible to say the least now we gotta find out where this guy went i don't know where he went well uh looks like i leveled up though what in the world is going on here oh all right so, for now, I kind of, we'll go into energy weapons. I do want to get energy weapons. I don't know, because I kind of want to get educated. I think this is the, oops. <laughs> All right, cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. The good thing is that we managed to take that dude out. I don't, oh, fuck. This dude is straight up blasting me. Oh, this is the guy that, uh, was at the door. Oh, no. There we go. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and reload, man, because, uh, something tells me it's not done yet. I'll take that and this and this. That's it. Uh, I'm definitely taking all the money. And the ammo. I don't have an energy weapon, do I? Oh, I do have a laser pistol. Almost no ammo for it, though. So we'll, we'll hold off to that for now. Oh, shit. Where are you going? That dude literally came out of nowhere. Oh god, that guy has a freaking flamethrower. Run! Oh god, let's hit him in the head. I got one more round, though. Oh no, come on! This dude has to go. ASAP. <laughs> I don't. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh god, this dude. He's tough. I mean, it doesn't help that I didn't spec into, uh, guns at all. Oh no! You can stay there. Alright, good. Um... No, leave me alone, please. Uh, I'll take this flamer fuel. 
Oh shit! This dude looks like an alien with this helmet on. And now he's a dead alien. Let's search this alien. Uh, 20 in CR, some 9mm caps. Of course. What about this? Um. Nothing spectacular. So, if I remember correctly, I think there's like some, a unique weapon, maybe in there, but it's locked. I, I want to say it's in there, but I can't really remember. But I'm pretty sure, I think it's like a lucky revolver or something like that. Yeah, it's a revolver called lucky as a matter of fact. Oh no, it's in here. It's in here. But, yeah, we're far from being able to do that, of course, but it's all good. It's really not that important, especially now. Alright. Um, can I sleep here? I see a head. I can not sleep here. Let's go ahead and sleep for an hour. So that we can, uh, oh shit. I didn't, I did have enough. Now that you're dead. I don't even know where that guy came from. He just appeared out of nowhere. Sunset Sarsaparilla, don't mind if I do. You, what's your name? I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are not. Uh, you can say that. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Uh, I hear you may have information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit? Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Um... Alright, I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Nah, bro, you wait for me! Uh, I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me? Nah. Um, sure, run away. You don't look like you'd be much help anyways. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms. And see you outside. Can I, uh... Can I extrapolate some information from you, Tom? Please excuse me, I'm extricating myself. He's a coward. Let's go ahead and sleep for one more hour just so that we can save our current progress. But for now, we definitely have to get going. Alright, so there's nothing over there. Lock easy. Maintenance door. No, thank you. I think the... I think we're supposed to go upstairs. Because I do kind of want to go around and clear this place. Ooh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, Nuka Cola machine. Uh, yes, please. Worst case scenario, I could always sell this anyways. I definitely want to go around and killing uh, and kill all these guys. Ooh, more Nuka Cola. I'm getting really heavy. Um, let's drink a Nuka Cola. Where is it? There we go. Uh, rads plus two, HP plus two. F it's only good for 25 seconds? That's not very good. Oh. Die! Oh god, this. Oh no, that was me. Look at me getting scared of myself. Very easy. Let's go ahead and do this really quick. Yes, I know how to do this. It's literally the same thing in every Bethesda game. Known to man. Doctor's bag, don't mind if I do. That will come in handy later on. Ooh, right here. Ah, I don't need any of that. That's an interesting death pose, young man. I would like to know your tactics and how you did that. I don't really do crafting, so I don't really pick up any of the other stuff. Hold up. 
Um... We'll leave that there. That there. Oh god. Is he dead? I don't think he died. Um... Let's go ahead and fix this. Where'd he go? Come over here. Getting jumpy, I guess. Actually, I got an idea. I think I have. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I fucking knew I was gonna blow myself up. Holy shit! Throwables in this game, even Fallout 3, man, they're freaking terrible. Ah! You like that? Die! Away from me, though. I mean, I definitely hurt myself in the process. Ah! I should probably take a stim pack. Where are they at? There you go. Oh god. Please die. No! Did you get a die or what? It's about time. I literally did mayhem with uh, those uh, grenades or dynamites, I should say. I don't even know who's who. I mean, I guess I could take a couple more dynamites back. I'll take this to repair my weapon, of course. Um, I guess I'll look for heads. Uh, buff out, just in case. I'll take that. Um, all right. Let's recuperate some of our explosives. Look at all these dead bodies. Holy shit, dude. I, I really destroyed these guys. Did I warranty? Don't mind if I do. Biker goggles. No, I'll take some of these, though. Definitely taking that bobby pin. Alright. Did anybody die over here? Honestly, I think... Everybody that needed to die is dead. So there's that. Dun dun dun. Well, at least I hope everyone that needed to die is dead, of course. I'm probably gonna end up selling these Nuka Colas, man. They're only good for a few seconds. Like, what's the point of that? Alright, let's go ahead and sleep for an hour. Since we got a little bit hurt. There's literally nothing in this place. Um, yeah, I'm not going to search through everything since, every, since pretty much everybody's dead. I kind of want to go to the top floor though because there is a floor higher. But let's see in here. It's locked so there's probably something in here. This is the sweet spot. Bam! Open suitcase. I don't want no jet. I'll take those rounds though, just in case. No. Um. But that guy definitely overdosed himself. Let's see here. So I know one of these rooms have a way to get upstairs. See, that goes to the outside. We're not trying to go that way. We're trying to go this way. Although everybody should be dead. So we shouldn't have to... Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was a big book of science. I was about to say, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Sunset Sarsaparilla? I'll take that. <coughs> it's not as good as Nuka-Cola, though. Because Nuka-Cola also gives you agility. This only gives you the plus two health. 
But like I said, I'm probably just gonna end up selling them. All right, before I go in there, I want to check out this sunset. I mean, this uh, Nuka Cola machine. All right, that's literally everything up here. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, we'll go through that one door that says to prim, and we'll just go around the building. I feel it'll be a little bit faster, seeing as we don't have to go through the to do two loading screens one going to the first floor and then one actually leaving the building this way we could just leave the building oh wait, it's this way we absolutely destroy these guys though so that's a good thing did did I hurt myself I guess I did wait who's Who's here? <sighs> Alright, he's shooting me from that way, but I don't know where he at. Oh, there he is. I should have shot him when I was up there already. Now I'm gonna have a harder time trying to shoot him from here. Come on, baby. No, stay still. Um. Stay still. Is he hiding? Oh, you can't be a criminal shooting people up and not be scared for your life. Get out of here. Let's go loot him and then we'll go turn in the quest. What you got on you, bro? Uh, 556, five, money, varmint rifle. Alright, let's go and fix this weapon to the best of our abilities. Oh, we got a varmint rifle that's uh, absolutely fixed up to the max. Alright, well, we're good. The open dumpster. Who threw, throws away caps? Nope, nothing there for me. Prim should be good to go. But now we have to go and talk to uh, Deputy Beagle. Because he has information about the checkered man and the uh, great cons that so ruthlessly blasted me away. Alrighty. Mr. Great, I mean Mr. Deputy Man, where are you? Damn, they're all ready to shoot people. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's walking. Is that him? Yeah. He thinks he's all tough now because I saved him and stuff, but look at him. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Um, Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. <coughs> what are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and... Hold us hostage. Yeah, you kind of sort of didn't do anything, bro. <laughs> like, nothing at all. Um, can you tell me about the man in the checkered uh, suit? Wait, what are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just the deputy. And I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Oh, you got a point there. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Um. Yeah, we'll definitely see what we could do with this. Uh, so we got two options? We have an ex-sheriff at the NCR prison and, of course, the NCR. So I'll help bring Law back to Prim, of course. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking of questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. 
I think you're being a little extreme for that. I know you need to tell me something. A suitable candidate for our next sheriff. Uh, can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information <laughs> on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? Yep. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay. Well, he definitely uh, told us how to get there, but I kind of want to find these guys a sheriff. Move What's along, up, Prim Slim? Please. All right, you said an ex-sheriff man guy at the NCR prison, but definitely sounds like he's a convict. So, no, and I know these guys would probably like that uh, because it's probably less law. But I'm going to go in with uh, the NCR. They kind of sound like a better bet to me. And just the fact that Prim is right here and there's a little mini base of the NCR right here to protect them. I don't think we're going to have much of that situation as long as uh, these guys are here to protect them. So let's go talk to... What's his name? Lieutenant Hayes? Man, who are you pointing at? Um... Okay. What is it? Uh, good <laughs> sir. <laughs> Goodbye. Sergeant McGee. Let's go. Okay, Lieutenant Hayes tent. You, sir. Yeah. Uh, Prim is in dire need of real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. So what do you need uh, to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Night at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. All right, uh, night at Mojave Outpost. Sir. All right, we got to go find Mojave Outpost. Can I sleep here? Yes, I can. Whoa, wait, let's go. So where is this Mojave Outpost? Now that's Nipton. Mojave Outpost right there. Um... All right, so it looks like... Oh, God. All right, it looks like we got to go south. So let's go ahead and get out of here so that we can actually go south. This is seriously like a tiny little... It's, it's, it's more of a camp than anything. What's up, guy? NCR Trooper. All right. Uh, yep, this is south. We're definitely, I, we're definitely gonna go in towards Nipton, but just uh, I kind of want to bring Law to this place first before anything, because uh, every place needs Law. <laughs> Looks like that's a drive-in theater or something. This place looks pretty vast. Oh man, I love this game. It's so wastelandy. Like it really feels wastelandy. Oh god, there's somebody way up there. Oh god, there's two people right here. What are they doing? All right, let's go ahead and sneak. This guy doesn't look like he's moving. Let's go ahead and blast that guy to death. Got him. Nice try. And I got two little doses of uh, karma in the process too, so... Don't mind if I do. What are these guys anyways? I kind of just killed them out of nowhere. Oh, they're convicts. Alright, um, 
stim pack, absolutely. I don't really need one of these right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and I'm not going to use this weapon very, very long anyways, once I get a pretty healthy stack of, um, you know, uh, like electronic ammo or whatever, energy cells. I could have sworn I saw somebody coming through here. What is this place anyways? Fuck you. Um, no thank you. Nevada Highway Patrol Station? Where did that one guy go? Oh, they're right there. You guys can stand there all you want. Stay still. I'm pretty sure I missed all of them. Alright, let's go ahead and blast her. She's a leader. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright, let's go ahead. I don't want the pistol, I just want the ammo. I'll take that. Alright, that's it. Dude, she looks disgusting. She literally looks like a freaking zombie. That looks gross. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm tempted to go in there. Oh, that looks cool. That's actually, I think, where we have to go. I want to go in there and explore, but I kind of want to go and talk to this sheriff man. Or not the sheriff man, but the, uh, the NCR about potentially being able to install a sheriff. But I guess it kind of does make sense. It kind of is like martial law. Seeing as it's the military. I don't know. We'll talk to these guys and find out what the situation is. It, it, like, once you get out of a combat situation, like we did back there at the highway station or whatever, it really... It really gets eerily still. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a lot of them. Run! No, oh, God. I'm gonna die. Run away. Did we even discover that place? We did. Run away. I'm not interested to fight uh, nine million freaking rad scorpions. And by the looks of it, there's more here. Yep. Oh, fuck. Run away. Oh god, NCR people help me! Wait, are they backing up? Nope, there's one right there. And there's one right there. So I need to keep going. They'll eventually back up, right? Once I get far enough? Yeah, look, one of them just turned around. And the other one just turned around. Hell yeah, I'm good to go, baby! Alright, what is this place? This looks badass. By the way. Ooh, who are you? Hey, where are you? Where are you? Come here! Where's he going? Talk Coming to me. Coming from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. Ah, uh, you can say that. Sergeant Kilborn. What is this place? Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while. Waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. Uh, is there any work around here? Nothing I know of. But if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks. Someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful you go up on the roof. I've got a sniper watching the road. If your gear's in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight, he can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. Alright, uh, so what are those st statues of? Those two? Represents unification. Mostly good for shade. <laughs> Won't do much else when the Legion reaches us. Damn, this guy sounds scared of the Legion. Watch yourself. See you later, Sergeant Kilborn. Alright, let's talk to these guys. No, uh, that's a mercenary. Alright, well. Alright, forget you then. NCR Trooper. He said, look on the roof. So let's go up here. 
Holy shit. Why is everybody running away from me? Where'd she go? Um. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. If you say so. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. Uh, depends on the work. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. Alright, uh, why don't you check it out? Got my post. Don't think I wouldn't go, too. If troubles hit Nipton, town's got enough camping spots to rack up some easy kills. Not about to have Jackson bust my ass again, though. Even if I came back with Caesar's head, I'd rather be sitting here than in a cell. Uh, I completely understand. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll do it. All right. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? I don't know if I could promise that. <laughs> uh, anything you can tell me about the outpost? Not much to tell. One of the worst posts in the NCR if you're looking to be anything more than a babysitter. Full up here, but just enough so we can't send out patrols. Gotta maintain a standing force. Jackson's orders. NCR's orders. Can't spare men for patrols or escorts, so caravans are backing up here like a Brahmin with a bottle in its ass. Mm, typical NCR bullshit. Uh, makes sense. Uh, hear any news from out west? Kimball's Kimball. Not sure which end is his ass or his head. Caravan families are causing trouble. Big circle getting tense. The usual. Look, you want gossip? Go to the bar downstairs and listen to a whole lot of nothing. Me? I gotta keep watch. Then fill out the daily log. Uh, downstairs, you say? I don't think we could go further down than this. But sure, why not? Never mind, I'll be going now. Mind yourself on the plank going down. There is... Well, um... I can't go down. She's on. She's got to be on drugs. Lay off the crack, lady. All right, let's go in here. We need to talk to somebody about a sheriff. I'm torn, man. I don't know if I want to go with uh, the sheriff or with a uh, major. I mean, with caravan, uh, citizen, pilgrim, or aliens. I don't know if I want to go with the NCR or with that one guy. Uh, but we'll see. Um, what? Courier. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Uh... Uh, anything I could do around here to help? Help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. All right, um, who are you? Me? I'm Knight. Major Knight. I've been stuck here dealing with these caravans for ages now, but somebody's got to do it. Sounds like you're a major pain in the ass. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, not exciting enough for you? It ain't so bad. If Caesar's Legion decides to push west through Nipton, old Mojave outpost here will be the front line. Okay, makes sense. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about Prim, though. Wait, actually, can you tell me about this outpost? NCR border guard duty, mostly. It's our job to make sure the caravans can move safely along I-15 and Highway 95. Not the best posting or assignment, but it beats being sent east or patrolling the Colorado. Legion's pretty thick there. All right, um, well, I'd like to talk to you about Prim. Prim? These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? Uh, well, Prim's definitely seen some better days, I'll tell you that. It has. It was a promising trade town before the escape at the correctional facility. Lost a good bit of money at the Vicky and Vance. Well, I mean, that's not what I wanted to hear, but... I'd like to talk to you about Prim. Prim. Yes. All right. Hayes is undermanned and is requesting some additional support. 
Is there any people or even a squad that you can send out in my in their direction? I'd like to help. But we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. So having Prim and the trade route under NCR control will help the west. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. Uh, looks like I already made the decision. Oops. <laughs> Sir. I really wanted to go talk to the other guy hey. and see if, uh, like, who would be the better per the better group. But I guess we ended up unintentionally siding with the NCR on this one. Jackson. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. We did. Not many people coming here in a hurry. Only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell. If I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Uh, you seem like you have enough soldiers, though. Soldiers, no. Recruits, yes. And the Mojave outpost has been ordered to have a standing force at the NCR perimeter at all times. So sending anyone out reduces the outpost's numbers and would be in direct violation of my orders from back west. Uh, is, in, is the NCR sending any more troops out here? Sending more troops, yes. To reinforce the outpost, no. Troops head through here on their way to McCarran, or to the front lines of Forlorn Hope. Or they're on leave, on their way to New Vegas to piss away their pay. All of them, passing through. Dang, you sound pretty frustrated, man. Frustrated? No, I have my orders. Signed and approved all the way up the chain from Kimball. And I understand the reasons. The outpost isn't a legion target, yet. Not like Vegas or the Dan. But if the caravans get choked here, that's gonna bite NCR hard. Anyway, didn't mean to talk your ear off. Some days, just feel like more requisition forms and daily reports come across my desk than results. Uh, is there any way I could help you? Help? No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. You look like you can handle yourself. Yeah, a little bit. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Well, I mean, that definitely sounds like a deal to me. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Don't mind if I do. Uh, can you find your heart? Can you find it in your heart, I should say? All right, let's go ahead. Uh, all right, so that's... We need to go back to Prim. So this is the NCR CF. Uh, we should have went there to be able to talk to Prim, but we kind of sort of accidentally chose a side. I wasn't trying to choose a side yet, but oh well, it is what it is. Is she still down here? Look at it. She's so dumb. Like she ran down here. Hello. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> She's supposed to be staying up there. She's supposed to be the like the lookout. She's the freaking sniper. She's just chilling up here. Or down there, I should say. Prospector? Hey. Howdy. Howdy. Hey there. Hi. Alright, doesn't look like any of them have anything. So let's go ahead and make our way back to Prim so we can turn this quest back in. The only thing... Or, uh, inform Lieutenant Hayes. Wait, hold on. Quest. Um, my kind of town. Alright, let's go ahead and go with this. Uh, speak to Hayes about NCR. Actually, I think we... I think we could still go... Uh, world map. Yeah, we can still go to the NCO, uh, NCR, whatever. Let's go over there. We'll save it next this time, uh, right... Well, first of all, right before we actually go in to the area but right now we figured it out uh for the ncr side now let's go talk to the um oh god i'm stuck so that's not gonna happen so let's go this way and see if we can talk to the guys over there at the ncr cf is this the closest that we can go wait a minute we're vilified at the range at the they're not gonna like us, are they? Wait a minute, but I do have an idea. Items. Um, yep, I have an idea. Let's go. 
We're gonna definitely dress up like them. Just so that we can go inside and potentially... Um... Potentially be able to go in there if we're disguised. Alright, now that we're in the wilderness... We definitely need to have our rifle out because you just never know what kind of surprises are out here. Oh god, we have some geckos. Geckos are not my worry though, to be honest. I'm not really worried about them. Damn, this place... It's... It's, <laughs> it's kind of far. Just because how slow we walk. Alright, fuck it. I'm holstering my thing. Let's go. Look at my sexy self right there. Alright. Uh, one thing I do want to do, though, is... Uh, I need to remember to put on my powder gang or uniform or whatever. When we get close enough. Because I'm not trying to get blasted by these uh, powder gangers. We're vilified, so it's not a good thing. I wonder. Oh no. Oh shit! We gotta blast this guy. So we're not a. Uh... Whoops. We're not a. Uh... Really? Alright, let's blast this fool in the head. I've had enough of you, young man. And now I'm even more hated. Even though they attacked me first. Alright, I'll actually take this to fix mine. Trooper helmet. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, bottle caps. Alright, that's it. We should probably put on... Our guard outfit now though uh, faction armor you have equipped the faction armor faction armor disguises you as a member of that faction members of that faction now consider you a friend while enemies of that faction will attack you on site regardless of your personal faction relation with them any reputation changes that occur while wearing faction armor still affects your character dun 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 uh, security personnel such as guards and watch dogs will see through your disguise and alert anyone nearby, so watch out. Alright, so I'm, a, I'm dressed as a powder ganger. Wait a minute, which way is the way? This way. So we need to be careful not to do anything extreme while we're in this uh, outfit. Alright, let's go ahead and save it. Hold on, can I... Alright, yep. Save. Prim. Why, yes, please. Alright, let's go. Um. So far, so good, right? Alright, doesn't look like they're gonna attack us. So let's go ahead and just chill out. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm one of you guys. <laughs> What? Bastard. That was a waste. I mean, I guess this guy was a guard, wasn't he? Alright, visitor center, powder ganger, yes. Alright, let's go ahead and repair this a little bit more. Oh god. Oh god. This is bad. Oh god, this is bad. Oh no, where is he? There he is. What's up, bro? Let me get at least one headshot. Alright, I'm, um... I definitely need... Some stim packs. Where is he? Come here. So, a 
Are we good? I think we're good. Wait a minute. Oh, there he is. You, talk to me. I'm a friend. Maybe you ought to worry about the guys trying to kill you first. What if I change my armor? Maybe you ought to worry about the guys trying to kill you first. Maybe we could just chill out here for a quick second until the caution goes away. Uh oh, I lost caution too. Oh, vilify it. Don't mind if I do, I don't care. Alright, let's go with uh, energy weapons again. Just for now, I this should be the level where we get uh, a new perk, so. Alright, so I want... I kind of want educated. It's best to get this early, too. I think I'm going to go with educated. So let's go ahead and go with that. Alright, come here, talk to me. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Uh... What did you do before you ended up incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. I mean, that's fair that he's taking responsibility for it, but I don't like that he took the law into his own hands, essentially. Uh, why would you feel, how would you feel, actually I want to skip that for now. Tell me more about what happened in the prison. I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Eh, you can say that. Who's Cook? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. Makes sense. Uh, where can I find Cook? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. So why are you still here? I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escape con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. I mean, he's... I get him. So who's in charge of the Powder Gangers? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Alright, uh, how would you feel about becoming Prim's new sheriff? Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it'd better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. I don't like that, man. I don't like that at all. I get it's the wasteland, but with a group like the NCR that's trying to establish law and order, I I, I don't know. I just don't like that. Let me see. Uh, does that mean you'll take law into your own hands? When I need to, yes. I need to think about it. Understood. I don't like it. What? Sorry. Bye. You're going to do your time even longer. All right. I'm fucked. Let's go. We should probably uh, fast travel if we have the opportunity. Um, all right, let's go back to shit. All right, maybe if we move really. Oh shit! Run away! Oh, I'm putting my gun away. I need to get there faster. Run! Oh god, I'm getting blasted here. Come on, baby. Well, I mean, getting shot once is not. Oh fuck, twice. Ain't too bad. Alright, where's, uh, is it this way? Yep, there's Prim. Alright, we should be in a good situation here. These guys... Well, seriously, fuck the Powder Gangers. I don't, like, I don't, I, I respect the man. Like, if he would have told me that he was regretful, and that given an opportunity, he would, you know, he would make things right, or something like that, I probably would have sided with him. Because he seems... He seems responsible enough to accept that he did wrong. And because he did wrong, he's going to do his time and stuff like that. So I respect him for that. But that doesn't mean 
like that just because he's gonna be the sheriff or whatever that he at some times take law quote unquote law into his own hands I don't appreciate that man even though he's a sheriff nah not with groups like the NCR trying to bring law and order into this wasteland you know so I'm, I'm definitely gonna side with the NCR who knows maybe in the future they'll establish their own sheriff but as of now man I feel like this would probably be the better bet because you never know man like think about it like if someone commits a crime you're basically giving him that one guy the uh, NCR guy or NCRCF guy the prisoner I guess I should have got his name but if that was the case, he probably would have, um, he could potentially become like a serial killer, dude. If he feels or deems it necessary to take somebody out, he will. And I don't like that kind of stuff. Putting too much power into an individual is not a good thing. At least if one of these NCR guys did something similar, the NCR would hold them accountable. There is some sort of accountability being, oh god, the, well, the game crashed. Alright, so I am now running away again because the game crashed and it saved right when we left the NCRCF facility, so once I get far enough, we're definitely going to just fast travel back over there. The game crashed, so it's like one of those situations, but yeah, at least with the, uh, as I was saying, at least with the NCR, there's some sort of accountability. And uh, you, do, I feel like you don't have that with that uh, with that NCRCF guy. So can I fast travel now? Let's see, quest, prim. Yep. All right. Cool. Very nice. All right. So let's go ahead and go this way because we have to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. I do understand why you would choose him though it is a wasteland after all but i don't know i feel with the ncr existing it's just it's a it would be a step backwards oh look it's mr i'm gonna point at everything Hi. man hey you all right lieutenant hayes i got some i got some good news for you yeah um i got extra troop support for prim yeah i just got word of that there's a squad of rangers standing by. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff and the rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. Um... Forcing taxes, though? I mean, I feel like that's the less extreme, though, than a person being able to take law into his own hands. So yes, tell the troops to come to protect Trim. Uh, Prim. Roger. I'll radio them over now. Hell yeah. All right, I'm gonna take a quick nap. Hell yeah. Let's go check out the new law and order being done over at Prim. Where'd he go? Did Sergeant McGee already head over here? I have no idea. Or maybe he's in the sheriff's building. Oh no, he's right here. Oh, and there goes uh, Deputy Beagle. Wonder how he likes his new job. Prim is secure against outside threats. Be interesting to see how long the natives stay grateful. Oh, all right, Sir. goodbye. I get the feeling they won't be very happy, to be honest. All right, hi, Deputy Beagle. Well, if it isn't the lawbringer. Yep, what's your problem now? My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. I'm just a beagle now. <laughs> Apparently two and a half months of law enforcement experience doesn't count for anything. The new regime is just that. All new. He's rude. <laughs> Don't tell him I said it. Prim has a sheriff now. Just not as supportive as I would have hoped. Two and a half months? He wants credit for two and a half months of freaking supposed law enforcement work? What? How much? Uh, I'm just not. I'm done. All right. I mean, uh, let's see what else, what other quests do we have? Uh, can you find it in your heart? Clear out the critters? Yeah, let's go do that. Where is that? Oh, it's 
we can actually go and do that and then head back to Mojave Outpost and talk to Ranger Jackson again. And then from there we can go uh, east to Nipton. Yep, east to Nipton for the Ranger Ghost Lady. I forgot her name. But for now, we're definitely going to have to call it a video right here, right now, guys. We definitely brought Law & Order, although they might not like it for a while. It definitely has to be something they're, they're going to have to appreciate or get at least get used to uh, before they can appreciate. But it is what it is. We brought Law & Order to Prim, and I am satisfied with the results. Let me know down in the comments which side you guys chose to go with. Uh, whether you guys went with that NCRCF individual or if you guys went with NCR in general I'm kind of curious to know which side you guys chose for your playthrough But as for now, I'm gonna call it a video right here right now Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like in the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one deuces